We're welcoming Vladimir Kostika today with us, and we're asking him some questions. What brought you here, and what brought you to photography? Uh, first, thank you for a warm welcome. Uh, what brought me here, actually, it's, it's a car. I, I drove a car today, <laughs> so that's what brought me in here today. What brought me to photography is, uh, long story short, uh, I really loved um, I, I was always overwhelmed, overwhelmed. Uh, I loved sceneries, loved uh, landscapes, and I was always trying to bring those landscapes uh, back to the house, back uh, back to the inside of of, of, the, of, the, of the house. And um, I tried painting; it didn't work. Uh, so then I realized photography is much easier way for me to actually bring that outside in. And uh, I guess that was the that was the main reason. It was really to to be able to, to capture, create the images that I see outside and uh, and have them around me all the time. So what type of camera equipment do you use and what's currently in your camera bag? Uh, it's difficult to put everything that I have or use in one camera bag, so I just split it usually. Uh, when it's light travel or just walking around, my walk around camera is um, uh, amazing Fuji Fujifilm X-E3. Uh, uh, it's a really beautiful light camera, it's tremendous image quality as for any or all Fuji cameras. Uh, so XC3 with uh, several lenses, um, if it's travel longer distances or travel outside of the country, it usually is either XC3 or XT2 and uh, GFX50, uh, the medium format camera as well. Right. Well, from what I remember, you were shooting with DSLR and quite a big larger camera system. What brought you to switching over to a mirrorless system? Oh my, so many reasons. Uh, one, of course, the, the, the how much lighter they are. Um, even though I have to admit I was really surprised with the Sony, it was heavier than I expected when I tried it. Then I tried, uh, then I tried and, and I warned everybody, be careful when you try Fujifilm cameras because you, 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 you might fall in love with them and you have to find money to buy them. Uh, but uh, yeah, the Fuji's, uh, especially Fuji's Fuji cameras, um, mirrorless cameras, lighter, uh, more portable, and all the technology in allows you to see what you shoot, which is amazing. So from your previous equipment, from DSLRs, like the larger form factors, I'm, with the Fuji that you're currently using, you're going to a mirrorless system. What brought you to to make that change? Oh gosh, that's easy. Have you seen the medium format, the GFX Fuji? It's smaller than, than DSLR cameras used to be. So you have medium format in a smaller factor and lighter. Um, not to mention the, the X series of, of the mirrorless cameras, beautifully portable. One of the reasons portability second, uh, the colors, especially going talking about the Fuji, that's what my choice of uh, choice of uh, arms right now. Um, Fuji cameras absolutely tremendous uh, advantage against anybody else, pretty much, and that is emulation of their of their films in building a camera. You get amazing colors, amazing amazing emulation of the of those beautiful films uh, right there. And when you're shooting, actually, you can see what it looks like. And that's the beautiful advantage compared to DSLRs. You, what you see is what you get. It used to be designing web page. What you see is what you get. Now it's with the cameras. What you see is what you get, and that's unbelievable. It's just tremendously uh, advantageous compared to anything prior to that. Well, yes, with the mirrorless, with the electronic viewfinder, being able to preview those the the information, the exposure, the color exactly how it's going to be is a, a great reference for sure. Yes. Uh, well, speaking of color accuracy and, and the sharpness of the lenses, what lenses of the Fuji XF or the GFX systems are you favoring right now? Pretty much any. Uh, and that's one thing about the Fuji lenses. I, I have to admit, uh, I, I was blown away when I, when I tried them for the first time. Uh, again, I would like to actually start again a little bit differently, um, and that is you have a tremendous choice of lenses when you go in with the mirrorless cameras because you can adapt pretty much any lens ever made to to the Fuji cameras using a specific adapters, and that's how that's what I started with. I always, always thought, well, I don't have to buy that many lenses from Fuji because I have tremendous amount of lenses from Pentax, Sony, um, um, Nikon primarily. Um, but then I tried Fuji lenses, 
and I realized what a, what a huge difference it is. Um, the Fuji lenses, their sharpness, sometimes you actually have to dial them down. Um, I know, it's, it's, it doesn't sound right, but, but it's true. Sometimes they're too sharp. The, the lenses are just fan, but it's fantastic. The micro contrast, everything about those lenses just works beautifully. And especially for me as a landscape, uh, a more primary landscape and cityscape uh, photographer, um, it's tremendous advantage to have those lenses to be able to see every detail and especially because and we maybe talk about it a little bit later I focus on large uh, format prints large prints uh, when I say large format prints definitely larger than 24 by 36 and uh, if you have pro proper lenses it's like having proper glasses if you have a proper lenses you can see the world properly you can see the world the way it is if you have glasses that distort the world obviously you don't see the proper image so and it's very important with the large prints because if you do have any mistake if you have any any minor uh, minor minor um, distortion uh, it's visible on a print that is four feet by six feet much more than if you have it just on the screen so that's where these lenses are just fantastic tool so the appreciation you have of the color reproduction of the cameras and the sharpness of the lenses. What lenses are your favorites right now? Uh, from the Fuji lineup, I, well, I always like extremes. Um, so ultra wide angles is probably my, my favorite, and that's on uh, and that's on the X series. So it's 10, 24, f4. That uh, lens is fantastic. It just just creates such a beautiful. Uh, image is just I just love that one and then of course on the other end is the 100 to 400 uh, so to get you closer and uh, and to get uh, to get that uh, image compression even though I was just reading an article someone was discussing the issue that there's no such a thing as the image compression but we, we can test it maybe one day with, with those lenses so well, that, those will be the my, my two favorite ones I think with the 10 to 24 as an example do you have a, a story or an image that really uh, sits with you for your most favorite image taken with the 10 to 24? There's just too many of them. <laughs> but um, I think there are a few shots that I shot from the canoe. Uh, we go kind of in, and oh, here's another reason why I go mirrorless. Light portability, to go canoeing, I have two cameras usually, one with the long lens one with the, with the 10 24 and um, so you can switch between uh, to uh, capture different images create different images um, using uh, either one of those cameras without switching lenses and um, so yes probably something a uh, few images from canoeing are my, my favorite ones at this point yeah, I would be concerned with having a really long lens and extending out and then all of a sudden feeling that teetering and then possibly falling over it was a big big camera lens combination well yeah canoe is actually fairly stable so even the big lens will not tip it over unless you really lean but one thing actually you just brought up uh, and that is the motion well we, if you have a stabilized lens uh as the 100 to 400 is uh, it definitely helps so you can yeah i, I think that those are it's just a, well it's a great combination for me and I usually have, funny enough, I usually have XE3 with 100 to 400, so the smallest camera oh. with the <laughs> largest lens, and 1024 on uh, on XT2, or um, well, it depends. Sometimes I, I take my GFX with a 32 um, the zoom lens, the, the wide uh, zoom lens with a with a GFX camera. A lot of our viewers, I'm sure out there, have been wondering. Hi, viewers. Have been wondering, <laughs> how do you promote and, and display your images? Are you using uh, platforms like Instagram or, or a website? Well, well, I, 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 I think it started with why I started photography. Uh, I always was into printing. I always loved prints. And I always loved, actually, for some reason, I was I was gravitated towards a large print. So, eight by ten wasn't definitely not enough for me. I, I really liked large spaces and the large prints. Um, so I do prefer uh, large prints as, as my primary uh, way of displaying the images. Uh, it started, if I may, just a slight detour. Um, how do you achieve large prints 
long time ago, I'm not going to date myself, <laughs> but working in a black, uh, dark, dark room, black room would be direct translation from Slovakian, so it's a dark room. Um, how do you achieve large image, print of the large image uh, in the dark room where you really have no access to technology in the past? So what I came up with was uh, I purchased a pack of, uh, of a postcard sized uh, uh, fil uh, not film, the, the papers and I lay them down on a, on a table, expose them and developed and then glue them on, on, a, on, a, on a cardboard to create a large image. That was my first attempt to create a large image and it might still have be, might be some, somewhere in my parents' uh, apartment somewhere back in Slovakia. Uh, today it's much easier. I do actually uh, print all of my images myself. Um, I have a printer that can print 44 inches times 100 feet, so it's a, it's a, it's a beauty. And I still have a goosebumps when I see the large prints coming out of the printer. Every single one of them. It's quite a, quite a, quite amazing, amazing, amazing feel to it. So yes, large prints. Of course, I do have a web page. I do have a Instagram. I do have a Facebook. Yes, for your younger guys who are now not on a Facebook, there's such a thing as Facebook. Uh, I do have account there, and um, that definitely helps to communicate image and communicate message what you try to do. Um, print is definitely my my most favorite way of displaying my images. How big have you ever gone, and wh where? What type of locations have you been showing off your those big prints? Now, when you mean how big, you mean like how tall I am? It's roughly I don't know seven feet or something. I don't I don't know in feet <laughs> how big. Uh, I think my largest print would be. Uh, it's a 14 feet wide and about four feet tall. That was uh, one of the. It was actually canvas uh, that we've done. There was another one which was, which was 14 feet by eight feet. It was a kind of a mural, uh, one of the developments um, that was printed and put straight on the wall. I was love those large images. Were those at a a private collection or a, a individual, or was that at a gallery? Well, it's individuals, or uh, in some cases, it's a, it's a foyer of the of the building, you, the entry, and, the, and there's a there's image there. Um, golf club uh, clubhouses uh, have some of my some of them have my images. It ranges really all over the place. Uh, I think the 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 the, the um, most intrigued one was the one that was shipped to Tibet. Uh, I don't know who is the who is the owner. Hey. If, the, if, if you can see the owner of my image who is in Tibet, if you can see us, maybe you can contact me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's actually crazy um, how you get sometimes images uh, of your image being installed in the, on the wall of the owners, uh, new owners of the images. It's just, I love that. I always, I always encourage them. Please do send me image of your image, of my image. Image of my image installed in your living room. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Vlad, for taking your time and giving us a bit of a peek at your workflow and what what's behind the photographer with the gear and with all the ways of uh, improving one's photography and with methods of uh, displaying it, too. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, as always. Uh, I really enjoy uh, spending actually time. I know this sounds crazy, but I really enjoy spending time in the store where they sell camera gear. That's crazy. <laughs>